Hello and welcome to the latest video in the Surfer New Feature video series by Golden Software. Today I'll be demonstrating the dynamic ways you can visualize 3D grids in Surfer's 3D view. Scientists and engineers can now easily achieve that wow moment when presenting XYZC data in true 3D as a volume render or an ISO surface. To view your data as a 3D volume render or ISO surface, you must first have created a grid-based map from a 3D grid VTK file. Once any grid-based map has been created in Surfer, it can be displayed in the 3D view by selecting the map in the contents window, then clicking View, 3D View. 3D grid VTK files can be displayed in this true 3D space using visualization options based on the C value. The default viewing option is a volume render, which provides an overall view of your X, Y, Z, C data as a 3D volume. With a volume render, you can take a step back and display the full extent of a contamination plume at your site. Once the volume render has been created, you have full control over the color scheme and transparency. To visualize the location of specific C values within a 3D grid, you can add an ISO surface. To add an ISO surface, go to the ribbon, then click Add to 3D Grid, ISO Surface. Once an ISO surface is added, you can move the ISO value slider as desired, allowing you to delineate areas of interest, such as chemical concentrations or mineralization zones. You can even display additional reference layers by checking them in the contents window, deepening the client's understanding of what is beneath their feet by adding surface elevation maps and site plans. Surfer has the power to transform your data into true 3D visualizations that not only impress clients, but tell the full story of your site. If you want to take your models into a new dimension with Surfer's 3D features, download the free trial today by clicking the link in the description or visit our website, goldensoftware.com.